up guys, my Wienemach here, back from vacation, sadly. In this video I'm going to present four must-follow bodybuilding rules that people forget about. Okay? Rule number one is, whatever moves first does the work. Right? I don't, what does that mean? I shall show you. So let's say you're doing a leg curl and you're going under here and you're doing something like this as the first motion. Now your lower back and the glutes will do the work, okay? Whereas if I push my glutes down and my first motion comes out of the knee, then whatever bends the knee, which is the hamstring, will do the work, okay? So if I move this first, then the work will come from there. It makes even more sense at the underhanded lat pull down. So a lot of times when people do this, they do something like this. And now you're saying, yeah, so, but this is a bicep curl, okay? So the first motion here comes out of the elbow, which means the muscle at the elbow, the biceps, does the work. Whereas if you are coming from, let's say, shoulder blades, now my lats work. And I'm pulling down with my lats, okay? So this is a bicep curl. This is a lat pull down. Speaking of curls, a lot of times when people curl, it looks something like this. Okay, that's a front raise. So you see here, my delt moves first. That's not a curl. A curl would be if the first thing that moves is my forearm, like so. Okay, so that's rule number one. Whatever moves first, does the work. Rule number two. Whatever is on, on top does the work. So, let me show you. If I'm doing this, you're thinking you're doing a side raise. But you're actually not. If you're falling forward, now my meter delts are on top. And now they do the work. Okay? The same goes for a bent over row. If I'm rowing like this, my traps are on top. They will do the most work. If I'm like this, I can actually use my lats. Or in a chest press, let's say over here. If at the bottom here my shoulders are on top, they will do the work and the chest won't do anything. Whereas I'm pushing my chest out, and my chest is on top, it will do the work. Okay? So whatever is on top, that's the work. That was rule number two. Rule number three. Okay, in for out, out for in. What does that mean? It means if you want to work, let's say, the inside of your quads, you shall have to stand wide. If you want to work the outside of your quads to get this beautiful sweep, you shall have to stand closer. So, I'll show you. It's in leg press. It's counterintuitive, but if I stand like this, my outside will work more. By the same token, if I have my feet out here, I'll be working more glutes and inner side. Okay? The same applies to, let's say, lat pull down, even more so. So, an, an extremely wide grip like this will work more on the mid back as opposed to a closer grip where you go like here, will be working more on the lats. Okay? So, this will work latissimus more, this more the mid back. I'm hesitant to tell you this, but to some extent it works for curls also. Since the bicep has two heads, you can go a little bit more outer head focus on a close grip, whereas inner head would be out here. Okay? But the bicep, you know, being such a small muscle, I wouldn't overthink it all that much. Okay? That leaves us with rule number four. We have arrived at number four. Which is, whichever joint works the most, that's where the muscle works, okay? So, let me illustrate. So, you're gonna have, let's say, a lot of shoulder movement, which means the pecs will do the most work, okay? The moment I bring in some triceps motion, I will also have some activation in the triceps. So, if I bring in some elbow, so this is all shoulders, and then here comes shoulder and elbow. 
even more evident by let's say if I'm doing a stiff leg deadlift so if my lower back moves the most then that's what works whereas if my glutes go back then it would be hamstrings and glutes okay so same motion but this would be entirely lower back not entirely but almost whereas this would be glutes and hamstrings so to reiterate whatever moves first does the work whatever is on top does the most work in for out out for in and whatever joint moves the most that dictates the muscle it works because smarter bodybuilders have bigger muscles and as always you need a coach be it online or alive here in person reach out you know through the website mikevidenbach.com or the youtube page